This is Gene Key, KDD, Texas News. The Associated Press reports from Sakul, Texas. Emergency personnel say two workers have been critically hurt in an explosion and fire at a biomass power plant in East Texas. A dispatcher with the Nacogdoches County Sheriff's Department says the accident was reported around 8 a.m. Tuesday at the facility at Sakul, about 165 miles northeast of Houston. The fire was quickly extinguished. Southern Power will own and operate the Nacogdoches generating facility once it goes into commercial operation, scheduled for later this year. The general contractor, Fagan Incorporated of Granite Falls, Minnesota, says the injured Fagan workers are receiving medical care and the incident poses no threat to the plant site. A spokeswoman at the Nacogdoches Memorial Hospital says both critically injured men were sent to the burn unit of Parkland Memorial Hospital in Dallas. The Associated Press reports a San Antonio man condemned for abducting, raping, and strangling a woman 11 years ago has died in a prison hospital. Texas Department of Criminal Justice says Tuesday, 40-year-old Santos Menjarez died January 14th in Galveston, six days after he was transferred from death row. The cause of death was specific shock and multiple organ failure. Menjarez was condemned for killing 37-year-old Rosa Rosada in 2001. The mother of two was abducted from a bus stop in San Antonio and taken to a motel where she was raped and killed. Her body was found a week later in a shallow grave near the University of Texas at San Antonio. Menjarez was on parole at the time. An accomplice, Ramon Hernandez, is on death row for the slaying. General Motors is expanding its production facility in Texas as part of a move that will add about 180 jobs in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. The general manager said Tuesday that the construction will start next week on a $200 million parts manufacturing wing of the Arlington plant. The facility will produce large parts for GM's full-size sports utility vehicles. The company says the facility should open in 2013 and save about $40 million annually in costs for logistics. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD, Texas News.